Keita Nakajima completed his start-to-finish run at the $2.25 million 57th Hero Indian Open with a final round of 1 over par 73 and a tournament total of 17 under 271 at the DLF Golf and Country Club in Gurgaon on Sunday. The 23-year-old from Saatama was four strokes ahead of a three-way tie for second place between Veer Alwat, Joannes Vreeman of the US and Sweden's Sebastian Soderberg, who all finished on 13 under 275. Nakajima eventually had the luxury of a bogey-bogey-bogey finish, such was the extent of his advantage. By the time he was done with the front nine on Sun, Nakajima was nine shots ahead of the field. It was good insurance, considering he found the home stretch, the harder section of the course through the four days. It feels amazing, Nakajima said. I was a little nervous, and I had a tough back nine, but I hit some great shots. I want to try and finish on the top ten on this tour, and then go to the PGA Tour in 2025. This is a tough course, but my approach today was the same. I spoke to my coach last night, and he said, just play like you have done for three days. But the greens were faster today than before, and I struggled again on the back nine. In contrast, Alawat closed out with a birdie par eagle sequence to recover from a mid-round slump that had seen him fall out of the race for second place. But on a day, the venue finally bared its fangs, the lanky DLF golfer made good use of his familiarity with the course to record the best home finish since Shiv Shankar Prasad Chiragia's second hero Indian Open title here in 2017. I'm really happy to have played so well in front of my home crowd, my family and my wife, Alawat said later. There was some pressure this week as there were high expectations from me playing at my home course with my coach also being present here. But I managed to put together a good week thanks to some brilliant driving and iron play. Finishing with an eagle was the icing on the cake. There was just one bad drive by me on the 8th today, other than that I didn't hit bad shots. I just didn't make good pars on a few holes, I would say. Playing well in such a strong field and negotiating the tough, windy conditions on the final day really boosts my morale. In fact, the second place was as good as a win for me. I now lead the PT Order of Merit with half his prize amount of $167,250 counting towards the domestic rankings. And that gives me a good chance to contend for the Order of Merit crown. That can in turn earn me a card on the DP World Tour next year.